Breaking news. Who's wrong as Biden, Putin, and Zelensky celebrate Erdogan's win? In the haze that followed the election, world leaders from Moscow to Kyiv, Brussels to Washington, D.C., congratulated President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. It was a reaffirmation of power on a global scale. However, the depth of the triumphant mutterings resonance across the continents indicated more than just a routine acknowledgement of democratic processes. It meant a shift in political power structures around the world. There were a lot of inconsistencies in the chorus of praise. Russian President Vladimir Putin called Turkey's President Recep Tayyip Erdogan a dear friend, despite the tensions between Russia and NATO, of which Turkey is a member. President Zelensky also congratulated Erdogan on his election, tweeting in Turkish and calling him a strategic partner. Joe Biden and Rishi Sunak, Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, both publicly praised Erdogan, the President of Turkey, and called Turkey a NATO partner. Not to be outdone, French President Emmanuel Macron also referred to Erdogan as an ally in the Mediterranean Sea, conveniently ignoring recent naval incidents. Middle Eastern and South American expressions of friendship were perhaps even more out of the ordinary. Unlike his Western counterparts, Iran's Ibrahim Raisi didn't congratulate Erdogan on his victory, but his message still served as tacit recognition of his success. Also, Egyptian President Mohamed al-Sisi has congratulated Erdogan for his victory over the opposition, which includes Istanbul's current mayor, Ekrem Imamoglu. To frame the 2019 Istanbul municipal election as a contest between Sisi and the Muslim Brotherhood, Erdogan had previously linked this Imamoglu to Sisi. President of Israel Isaac Herzog has also expressed his country's eagerness to continue working with Turkey and to expand ties with the latter. On the other side of the Atlantic, President Lula da Silva of Brazil extended his congratulations to Erdogan, establishing an unusual point of rapport with a leader who is usually contrasted with Brazil's controversial Jair Bolsonaro. Chinese President Xi Jinping added his voice to the chorus, saying that he would like to see the strategic cooperative relationship between China and Turkey strengthened. There was already a heated confrontation between Washington, Brussels, and Kyiv and Moscow and Beijing, so this only added fuel to the fire. This seems to be an odd contradiction. How does Erdogan square his role as a NATO partner to the United States and the United Kingdom with his roles as a dear friend to Russia and a strategic partner to China? This outpouring of congratulations was obviously unprecedented for a country of Turkey's stature. There was no light-hearted diplomacy in the tone used. They represented an extraordinary vote of confidence in Erdogan's leadership. In Turkey, meanwhile, government supporters and senior ministers enthusiastically endorsed the narrative that Erdogan's victory was a victory against the US and Europe. Someone seems to be making a mistake in the midst of all this jubilation over Erdogan's victory. Long before the election, I argued that I believe President Putin to be correct in his assessment of Erdogan. Given Erdogan's complicated web of alliances, this may seem counterintuitive. But before we jump to conclusions, let's explore the reasons why Putin, Raisi, and even Xi may not be wrong about Erdogan.